Greetings from the Star Trek Raven crew. This is uh, Gabriel, our director. I'm David, the producer, writer. And um, we just wanted to give the cast and crew an update because uh, there's a lot of things going on. Mm -hmm. And we don't have time to call you all individually because that would take forever. And, and then we'd get sidetracked. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the Comic Con and how much fun that was. That was a blast, as you can see. Bam! And uh, all the new friends we met at the Comic Con, and are even thinking of inviting some of those uh, Trekkie folks in as extras. And then they'd have a blast, and we'd have a blast working with them, too. Yeah, so we're going to try to get them hooked up with that. And um, It was fun to see just a couple people in Starfleet. Yeah, at least. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I felt we felt pretty lonely at Comic Con this and, year. And uh, hats pretty off weird. to uh, to uh, Glenn Wolf and the uh, board the costume. Board costume. Got one first place. First place at the Comic Con costume contest. That was awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> and our board gal Erica had a total blast as the Borg. So thank you, Erica, for stepping up and doing that. Okay, so right now we are halting production because some things have developed, and why don't you uh, fill us in? Uh, right now we've stopped filming. We definitely haven't halted production because we are still producing, um, and but we're, we're retrofitting the video right now. We've actually gone back and uh, realized that we could actually do quite a bit of better things without getting into our wallets. And so being able to do this is a, is a huge thing for Star Trek Raven, <clears throat> a huge thing for all of our actors to be a part of this. And uh, I'm diligently working on making this happen. David is diligently working on making this happen. And we're gonna be doing 3D rendering. We're gonna be doing uh, 3D environments. Uh, that means new camera movements, camera tracking inside of 3D environments. Yep. Um, we've got new looks for our film. Um, we actually brought in a color corrector. His name is Andy Wagner um, out of Kansas City. He's gonna be our uh, professional color corrector. Um, Daniel Corkin. Daniel Corkin. We wouldn't be able to even think about this if we actually didn't have Daniel on board because yep. Daniel's the one creating the new Star Trek, or the new Raven ship, the interiors for us uh, to actually film in and it's and as a filmmaker, it's going to feel for me like I can put the camera in any place on the ship that I want to without with complete freedom to work where I want and when I want. And that's that's huge for a filmmaker. And the way I'm trying to, to describe <clears throat> it is, or as before, we're just shooting straight. Yeah, no right? movement. Adding a background. Now, <clears throat> we're holding, you're holding the camera. That's right. Moving around the actor and the background will be moving as well. That's correct. And so it gives a full 3D submerged in the environment effect. Yeah, there's two there's two parts to that actually because I could go side to side and then the background will move like it's supposed to, but what we're going to be doing is three-dimensional, which means that if I were to rotate around David, then the background would rotate around him as well, which is a major production element. This is um this is something you see in the movies. This is the Avengers. This is uh, yeah. Lord of the Rings. This is all all those kinds of elements that we're going to be inputting into Raven, and we're super excited about it. Yes, and uh, I want to get out of the frame and grab the ship. Yeah. So. And cut. <laughs> and splice. Yeah. And we're back on. All right. I've got. Uh, I've been working on the model. This is the Raven ship, and you can see that it's black. And it, I sure you can't probably can't see it, but uh, it's got lights. Kind of fun. Took forever to build. It did. He'd call me anytime we call him. What are you doing? He's like working on the ship. And what are you it, doing? Uh, working on the ship. It's. Uh, we're gonna try to shoot this. See if we can make it look like a real ship. And yeah. uh, if not, then we'll go to uh, Plan B, which is. CGI ships. Yeah, in all honesty, folks and fans out there that are looking forward for Star Trek Raven, both David and I would love to use as much real as possible. Um, without the budget to create a set, that's the only reason why we are using C CGI interiors. But for the exteriors, David's been working on things like this. We would really love to see things like this 
as part of the movie. And so we're working to make that happen. We're not going to say that it is going to happen because we're still doing some test footage. Yeah. But um, but if it does happen, it's just, it's going to be pretty surreal for us. I mean, it's stuff that we grew up on is the old models and movies. So fun stuff. Yeah, it is way fun. And uh, even right now, if you were to compare just the the really average stuff that we shot tonight, right, right, and compare it to the original Star Trek, it, uh, theirs looks really terrible. Yeah. And so yeah, it, it's true. ours looks better. Yeah. But we can get it. We want to get it to the point where. It looks like a real ship coming at you in space. If we can't get there, we're going to scrap it. Yep. And this will just be a nice trophy. And uh, we'll move on and I'll shed a golden tear <laughs> for my ship in the countless hours <laughs> building these things. And that's all right. Um, I want to. I want to. Interesting. Assure everyone out there that uh, by us taking a step back, um, it helps us to take a leap forward so this is kind of a, a a really good choice on our part to do what we're doing right now because it's going to allow us the time and the focus that we need to yeah. show something excellent to the audience and we really want to do that we want to show something excellent to the audience we don't want it to be low-key you know we've got the tools to do it we're working on uh, mastering those tools and when we do yeah and so we're hoping that all the cast stay with the show. If you have to jump ship due to time constraints, now is the time to jump ship. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, but I just want you to understand that the production value is going to be two, three times better than before. I would say Maybe, more than that. Yeah. And so um, if you hang in there with us, you're going to say, wow, that's pretty impressive. And but we need you to step up also. Uh, we need to increase our acting, we need to yeah. learn our scripts better and be better prepared. And so that when it comes time to shoot, um, it doesn't take 20 takes, it yeah. takes just a few. Um, and I'm not trying to pick on anybody because yeah. you're talking to the kings of 20 <laughs> takes right here <laughs> because I'm no actor, um, I want to be a voice guy, and, right. And so, you know, if you're new to acting and you're struggling with it, um, and I understand that a lot of the folks have done stage acting, this is a completely different situation for you. Yeah. And we understand that. But the reason we picked all you folks is because we can see that you have talent. And, and uh, so we're hanging there with you, too. We're not going to give up. No, um, not at all. And so for the new folks who are just coming on, welcome to the Raven Experience and it's going to be fun. It's just going to take longer than we thought. Yes. I naively thought that <laughs> I would be done shooting in December when I began this thing. Back. Somebody told me that like a month ago. They're like, it's coming out in December, right? And I'm like, ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, that maybe? was, you know, back in, in April, May, when we had a different crew and different staff. Yeah. And uh, things just keep evolving. Uh, yeah. In a good way. And, and and we will we'll we will start filming. We will start uh, major production. It's just we want to get these ducks tied, and we want to get um, ducks tied. Ducks tied. Yeah, just just made that up on the spot. We <laughs> duck hunt. And we want to get these things uh, locked in, but it's not going to be this continuous. Oh wait, we could do better. We could do better. We could do better. That's not going to happen. We've got specific goals that we want to get to, and if we get to those goals, filming starts. We're golden, so. and and the atmosphere, the filming atmosphere is going to change. We're going to have production schedules. We're going to have schedules for our actors. Um, David and I are actually going to discuss what scenes, when scenes we're doing it, well before it even happens. And um, yeah. so everyone's really going to have a. a we don't want you to show up and think that we don't know what we're doing. No. Oh. And uh, we want you to come in and say, okay, these guys are organized. Yeah. And so we're going to get organized. And part of that is because our production is coming way up. Yes. And yes. we feel more responsible. We need to be care more careful. And yeah, we so, expect more from ourselves, for sure. Yeah. And so we have some really cool people. Stick with us. And if not, please let us know that you are out of time. Uh, and we understand people have lots of things cooking in their lives. And so... And that's as a courtesy, if you can let us know for whatever reason. It allows us to fill the position. 
and this is for crew or cast. If uh, for some reason you feel like you can't do it, uh, at least give us a courtesy so we could try to fill that position. And we completely understand as well, so we're not blatantly yep. egotistical yes. or anything like that. Be like, what? You don't want to work on my movie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're not like yeah. that. So, um, so this is David and Gabriel, and we just want to say hello. We're going to try to do these more often. This yes. This is number one. Video blog number one. And so um, we've got... Uh, nothing happening this weekend. Nope. And so uh, we're going to try to do something next weekend, but I don't know if yeah. we'll do anything because we're kind of waiting for some CGI. Yeah, Daniel is uh, right now, him and I are working on some 3D test shots. And um, if we do film anything next weekend, it's going to be some light duty stuff. Um, we're going to get Jim involved in some stuff. And um, yeah. Yeah. But stuff everyone will know. No one will be surprised. We're not going to be like, hey, we need you there. Next weekend, that won't happen. You'll have plenty of notice before yeah. you need it. Yeah, two or three weeks at least. Yeah. So, thank you. Thanks, guys. Signing off. <laughs>